Great touch, 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 great 30 minutes on the clock, lots to talk about, loads to talk about. We've got Pet Hate, it's got uh, the lead balloon de Paul, which I'll explain in just a second. We've got, uh, talking about who will finish higher, Arsenal or Spurs. Or Chelsea. Or Chelsea. Ooh, Ooh, Chelsea. Ooh, Ooh, Chelsea. Chelsea. London London rivalry. Oh, yeah. My name's James Alcott, uh, this is my channel if you're watching this on YouTube, or if you're listening on iTunes, welcome to Great Touch for a Big Lad, head over to the James Lawrence Walker channel and subscribe. I'm a QPR fan and season ticket holder, I went to the game on Saturday, we lost to Hull. Dom is here, Dom is a Brentford fan and season ticket holder, you went to the game the other day? No I didn't, I, I watched it on the telly. Yeah, Very angry about that, weren't you? Is that part of a pet a, maybe? In a good way. Was I angry? No, you wasn't. No, I was delighted. No, you're angry at the commentary though. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But I uh, delighted, delighted, delighted they put the game on, so thanks guy. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Owen's here. Owen is a Chelsea fan and season ticket holder. I went and on he's the got, weekend. And he's, and he's got new shoes. Um, yeah. Are they? They are new. A few, few years ago. That's too clean to be A few not. years. And Mr. Beresford, Craig Beresford, is the mm. ever growing beard. It's long, mm. it? It's laziness. It of it. Bear Pit TV. It's long. Uh, Stoke City fan and season ticket holder. Oh, and we will be diving very briefly yeah. into a bit of Stoke City bad. chat after yeah. last time about it's 24 hours it's been a bad couple of podcasts for Stoke City after James McLean James McLean mm. well they're, they're on their way up in the league kind of we fucked against well, Reading in the last second then. Mm, nice. um, right first things first we are going to be doing something that if you've listened to the podcast over the years you will know very very well yeah. the lead balloon de Paul obviously which uh, over the years has been given to the likes of Sean Wright Phillips that I remember winning it did he? Uh, yeah. basically this is our own award ceremony which we started well before this Ballon d'Or thing mm. and annoyingly they've taken yeah. it done a spin on it yeah. and to be, fun, to be fair so it's gone from strength oh, to strength yeah. it? whereas yeah. ours is still based around they've, this they've, they've added a women's one well, haven't they? Yeah. They added a women's one as well. So ours actually has been, been in existence longer than yeah. the, the, yeah. the women. So ours is called the Lead Balloon de Port. It's for the most disappointing footballers or football related people yep. in the game this year in 2018. Um, I'm just trying, I can't remember previous winners. There's only Sean Wright Phillips. There's, uh, who's the American forward? Yeah, who we always the door. Oh, yeah, Josie 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 yeah, yeah, that's true. I want to say. Um, Catamol. Catamol must have won it one year. Catamol, I think Catamol was the lead. Was it, was it I think he won it last year, maybe. Oh, uh, maybe he won it twice. Oh, right. Yeah, 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 no, he's, yeah, yeah, he's always in the running. He's always in the running. So, yeah, general poor performance and high shorts. That's yeah. normally why. Yeah, he, absolutely. He leads, yeah. I, the, I saw the Netflix trailer for the. There's a Sunderland. Um, Documentary, which I thought that was a joke, but it's oh, actually there's actually one about and the trailer. Like normally a football trailer, it's about you know you get a bit of buzz going. It's about the glory of it, and we know they get relegated. Yeah. And at the start of the podcast, I the start of the sorry the trailer, they're like, we've gone down, but we now it's time to sort things out and get back on track and get promoted. Oh. And they just they sank like a stone last season. So yeah. I'm looking forward to watching that. Netflix are scraping the barrel. So right, Amazon have got Man City and Netflix got Sunderland. Alright, yeah. like it. Right, so let's do our nominations. Did Chad Evans win it one year? Chad Evans yes, won it, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Wrongly convicted. Yeah, yeah, we'll take was, he, was he, was he? Well, yeah. it's been 10 oh, years. Um, yeah, at the time, I yeah, found, I sent this to you the other day, didn't I? I found the podcast of uh, Chad Evans. Uh, mm-hmm. We were talking about Chad Evans on the podcast, and I've had to cut together. We never, never cut together. We never edit down the podcast, but I struggle with the sort of... Uh, Intensity of it, yeah, and um, you did brilliantly on it. Thank I listened back much. to the Chad Evans bit, utter professional, but I was, oh, you can hear me giggling in the background. Anyway, four minutes gone, let's get into Lead Balloon to Poor nominees. Uh, I'm having to go first, yeah, go for it. Okay, my nomination is, and we'll put this to a vote, and then we can announce it uh, maybe next week. Uh, my nomination is uh, Bakioko. Oh, that was one of mine. Uh, three. <laughs> that was great. Belter, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, came for big money. Mm-hmm. People were excited about big him. Time. You know, he was the new Vieira for, for Chelsea or Yaya Torre, or, you know, long, strong player. Yeah. And long and strong. Uh, long and strong. Yeah, he can be long and strong. He can be long and strong. That's how they make them. I'm going to strong. And it's it's got so bad that he 
left Chelsea he's gone on loan to AC, AC Milan. Milan and AC Milan have basically said you're too stupid to play in this position please go back and they're uh, trying to get rid of him however oh yeah they've since changed their mind apparently he's had a belting month oh really, really? Yeah. oh and they now month. they now want to oh, no. they want to buy him in January what yeah. Wow! Apparently. How much would you want for him now? No, he's got. A, it's thirty-six million. It's already agreed. Just take, it, just take, million, just, yeah. just take that guy. Really? Yeah. Seriously. I mean, th- one month. That's no, not, no, that's not going to count him out for me. He's still my yeah, nominee. No, I can't think of another yeah, one. Yeah, no, he was a joke. <laughs> he, was, he was a laughing stock. It's yeah. the worst signing we've ever made. Let Vidic go as well. Maybe Danny Drinkwater because he's not really played. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah. He's got the guy in Spurs. Yeah. Yeah. Back in yeah. is worse than Drinkwater. Surely for, for what you were hoping for and what you got. Yeah, yeah. No, he's he's a joke. Uh, yeah, he's uh, he's had a bad, tough time. So that's my nominee, mm. Craig. I, I struggled with last minute uh, one for me, but there's a personal one. Hesse Rodriguez. Who, who's that? Okay, he was that's a good shout. Yeah, yeah, he was a strike we got on loan from PSG last year, and he was the um, he was mm. the, the big money signing. He's only on loan, but he was spending a lot of wages and all this sort of stuff. He's the one that's going to keep us up and replace out of it. His um, so his wife. I think there were so this bit's fine. He must. So his he had a kid, and there was issues back in Spain. They had to go and visit the kid regularly because it wasn't very well. Fine. He basically disappeared from roughly November-ish right through to March because he was going back and forth to Spain to look after his bully kid. It turned out he was just in nightclubs getting pissed up, shagging about. Shagging about. Shagging what about. Was he shagging? Shagging about women. Men, women. Well, women doesn't matter. Does it? So he should be getting mad at you. Is what you're saying? <laughs> well, yeah. So we ended up spending an absolute fortune on this guy who, who claimed to go and kind of support his sick child. He may have been to a point, but he was just getting pissed off. <laughs> you pinned a lot of hopes on him we as did. well. We did. We got rid of an out. We sold an out, it's rather. We thought he's going to maybe... He scored against Arsenal in the doors. We thought he was like, he's got a really right. good goal. Wait, we was from Real Madrid. Real Madrid to PSG. Yeah, yeah he's, he's got like, really good... And then he's pissed out. He does rap videos as well. Does he? Which are, they are very good, to be fair. Are they? Oh, yeah. too talented. Really good. And then there was that whole bust with Charlie Adam and the penalty incident. Do you remember that? Mm. Charlie Adam's yeah, our yeah, designated yeah. penalty take it. It was a vital last minute penalty against Brian to win the game. Do Stone fans hate Charlie Adam or like Charlie Adam? I like him. He's right. still there? It's, yeah, he's somewhere. It's split right in the middle. Uh, no, he doesn't get in, but I like him. But yeah, he kicked off with Charlie and tried to get the ball from him, said, No, it's my penalty, I won it. Da, da, da. And it, it just made the whole incident sour and horrible. Charlie missed it. His fault, admittedly, but it did not help. And then he just fucked up back to PSG. Yeah, he's a, he's a, there's there's often what that in a in a relegated side. There's often and especially in relegated sides that has Mark Hughes as manager at some point in the season. Yeah. There will be some kind of uh, big time Charlie yeah. who totally lets you down. He did. He just, in, from my experience, it was just it was it was that cliche big time Charlie. Yeah, yeah, good shot. And he couldn't have Mark, been, as it were. Mark Hughes, first Premier League manager, <laughs> sacked twice in one year. <laughs> Don't <laughs> Who are you looking one? at? How are we trying to find him? <laughs> we type in shit players yeah. Yeah. this year. But yeah, Mark Hughes, that's, <laughs> that's, that's a go. quick award. That's if yeah, yeah. you do it, you were going to announce it. Bro, he's the first ever manager. Yeah, Mark Hughes. Oh, no. Whoa, that's. Oh, that's oh you go. Oh, go on. He's got a third one. you got a third one. Yeah, got two more. No, that wasn't one of mine. Oh, okay. I was going to give you a stat. Was that going to be yours then? I was going to do a separate category, but. Oh, okay. I've ruined it for you. You can take it. No, 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 that's fine. The first manager to be sacked twice in the same year. Yeah, Mark Hughes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah in, in Premier. I was going to call it the David Moyes Award. <laughs> David Moyes. Yeah. Award, yeah. yeah, we can still call it that. The really yeah. Shouldn't it be the Mark Hughes Award? The Moyes. Mm. If he's the first one to do it. No, I mean yeah. the, the the desperate manager sort of. Right. right. Yeah. They're slowly getting weeded out though, yeah. aren't they? If you ever in the Championship next, you won't get another Premier League. Job, that, he might just leave it. I bet he's made a ton of money. Well, he got he got a. a China. Kind of, he was sacked from Stoke, got that payoff, got relegation, survival bonus from Southampton, brilliant, couple yes. of million, and then he got the sack bonus from Southampton as well. Easy. Nice. He's just trolling the world. <laughs> He'll go to China now. That's a cool yeah. nine months worth of work. Do a little bit more. Do six yeah. months there. Then retire. Make about twenty million. Mm. Mm. Come back. Um, Mark Hughes is a good shout. Chuck him in there. <laughs> <laughs> but that's no. not your nominee. No. I was, I was, I was, just, giving you, was just giving you a stat. Right. right. I do there. I've got two. Okay. One because it. it it kind of saved everyone from the horror of, of Liverpool winning the Champions League but Laurius Carius for his of course, yeah, pitch yeah, performance yeah. in the Champions League I think League this final. is case closed now do you think? I think we'll still get but he was concussed yeah because he, he was concussed was he concussed? I don't know Just no, so it was, was <laughs> for, me, for me it was fantastic I'm obviously Bale scoring that epic goal but <laughs> that and the final was just ball, unreal yeah. Yeah, yeah. unreal uh, and from a personal um, perspective Morata Oh, yeah, Pure, purely for being offside five times within the first 24 minutes against the, against Spurs. The Spurs. That is an award five in minutes. itself. That's yeah, five, he was offside five times in the first 24 <laughs> minutes. It's not playing up top on your own. Playing up, yeah. Mad, isn't it? Just, so, but Morata has, uh, 
Yeah, real. real it's done so well as well. Yeah, but this calendar. Do you remember Stoke? Very it's got cool. the yeah. It was amazing. Yeah. I watched that game. That was last. That was last year. This calendar year, he's been he's been awful. Very good point. Get injured a lot of the time. He's such a confidence player. Like mm. in, if he's not if he's not on it, he's in it. Off it. He's, he's off it. Yeah, he's off yeah, it. He's over it. He's yeah, he's it. Winning. over it. So yeah, yeah Carrius is my is my real one. But Rata has been Rata has been awful. Small. Yeah, and we've 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 got a dud up front. Otherwise, I, I think we'd. No, we, we, could, uh, we could do it's some rising. damage at, at the top of the league, but we're too far off now. We're all being giddy today. Do you see what I'm saying? <laughs> I think it's the saying, that, that is the most gone. niche joke that Dom's just done that no one will ever know. I once worked at Reese and Damien Duff came in and I, I said, Oh, can I help you? And he went, That's fine, I'm just browsing. And, it, and 15 years on, he's just popped that into a podcast. It's all I can think about when I see it. Uh, nominees. Yeah, I've got one. Uh, I'm afraid you. Mm. Um, mine's quite niche. Specific. Nice. Niche. Nice. And um, mine's Mesut Ozil's back. Back? Yeah, because it keeps spasming. That's disappointing, isn't yeah. it? That yeah, is disappointing. it keeps spasming. Not, not yeah. him, just his back. Not him, but he's a good player. His back, his back. Yeah. Yeah. Is he not only his back? Or? Yeah. Do you think he's like the training goes, right, you know, everyone has to do it. Mesut, it's your turn, bring the balls in. And he's gone, oh, yeah. hang on. Yeah, yeah, no worries. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's just gone again. Yeah. <laughs> Spasm. <laughs> Spasm. He'll yeah. back spasm in. So is this is this an indirect little dig at Ertzel or just the fact he's got no, an injury? No dig, no dig. He just he, this is back. Spasm. Right. Just so the nominees, just to round up, are Bakayoko, Hesse Rodriguez, Mark Hughes snuck in there. Yeah. Um, Carius. Carius Morata and and Ozil's back. Ozil's back. <laughs> you can vote <laughs> now on the James Lawrence Allcott channel if you are watching. There is a poll card there for you. To enjoy. Should we the on. next podcast and ask the winner? Can we set up some sort of poll that we can collect? Literally, that's what you said. Yeah. I know, but I thought you meant just like chugging the comments. We All right, no, no, no. Like no there's a poll. There's an actual poll, Craigie, that's that people are, are clicking on as we speak. Lewandowski poll. Uh, right, 18 minutes left of this podcast. Uh, Craigie, you're going to have to take a break. Yeah, I'm going to have to take a break. Yeah, I'm going to have to take a break. Yeah, I'm going to have to take a break. Yeah, I'm going to have to take a break. Yeah, I'm going to have to take a break. Yeah, I'm going to have to take a break. Yeah, I'm going to have to take a break. Yeah, I'm going to have to take a break. Yeah, I'm going to have to take a break. Yeah, I'm going to have to take a break. Yeah, I'm going to have to take a break. Yeah, I'm going to Spurs at the weekend he's loving it he's almost as up I quite enjoy it I'm yeah. indifferent yeah. um, it's a great game first of all it was fantastic amazing football game, game, game yeah. football yeah. Yeah, what, you, you always say what, what, you want a penalty you want a red card you want goals you had everything yeah yeah yeah, offside yeah. at one point yeah. 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 not as many as the Chelsea game yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I After. was shocked yeah. utterly shocked at how dominant Arsenal were was that down to the fact that Spurs have played three games in a week, tough games in a week, and that home advantage. Or are Arsenal actually developing into a team that is better and therefore could finish above Spurs? Well, I think I think the three games in a week isn't fair because um, Arsenal played in in um, the middle of nowhere. But their players didn't. Did and they? on Thursday, as well, their first team didn't play. Most of them didn't know. They had two I mean, days they, left. They had a few. They had a few who were over there. Um, but yeah, you're right. Tottenham had more, which probably, yeah, probably has a small effect. Um, then what's the other point? The uh, the home, home advantage in a derby definitely definitely matters. I mm-hmm. think, um, <clears throat> as you can tell, the keep your Brentford game. It, it, that's the only reason why he won. No, that was our turn, football turn on very quickly. Get, got to it was our Christmas day at the weekend, and um, and we lost three two. And then I realised on the train, I knew, like, we've got uh, another mate called Webber, Brentford fan, I knew he'd be on me because we'd lost. And he'd, he'd made, like, a, he'd text yeah, something cheeky. And, uh, and then he went, it's, but I, then I realised, I knew I had this in my back pocket whenever I needed it, it was 3 mm. 2, which was the score of QPR Brentford. <laughs> yeah. So I was ready to go. And he's like, he said, oh, you're 3 2, go and get a drink from the bar. And I went, oh, again, oh, yeah, brilliant. Because, yeah, is that because of. QPR being revenue free too and he's like oh, he didn't have no comment he? no, no he comment. Uh, <clears throat> but, um, yeah, but yeah I think but yeah that definitely has an effect but they were brilliant weren't they Arsenal Arsenal's so good I couldn't I, I was I was as I say totally shocked at how Arsenal. how dominant they were how <clears throat> Torreira's he's so good so good, good. so good so crucial I didn't think he didn't know too much about him no <laughs> I think he's had <coughs> a good few years at Sampdoria, but still, that's like it's a big jump up. Mm. He's such a little guy as well, and he, and he he started one attack with his head. Did you see that when he won on a header? But he literally he the header went so far and wide, but on purpose to get the width right. straight away. So it wasn't just winning the ball; it was like let's start 
as quick as we can. But he's like his positioning's good. He's good in an attacking sense. They were driving forward. One stat that I saw that that really does it it makes sense of the fact that they can't seem to win a game in the first half, but in the second half they're so dominant. Mm. Um, they've run further than any other team in the Premier League this season. Well, I, I, I missed they were eighth last season. I missed the first twenty minutes because I was coming back from the, the Chelsea game, but Arsenal absolutely dominated the first twenty. Yeah, twenty five minutes, definitely, half an hour, definitely. But I, I think also you, got, you give credit to to Emery because although Arsenal dominated the first half, they were obviously two one down. He changed it, even though they played so well yeah. in the first half. He's like, well, it's working. But I think obviously I've seen something else that we can take advantage of. Mm. Brings on Lacazette, brings on Ramsey, and uh, was it Ramsey sets up uh, Bamiyang <coughs> for a second? Lacazette scores, so it's kind of inspired management yeah. as well. I think they've got so much more. They've got more information. It's fresh ideas, but it's more information. And so now, when there are moments when they're up against it a little bit, they're not. I think that football had moved on from a point where okay, let, let's just get these great artists out there and let them do what they want. They need the game's so quick now. You need to have some structure to kind of rely on sometimes when it's so when mm. a football game's so hectic. And yeah. they've got that. They've totally got I, that. I, I think one thing which I, as I was trying, I think think back and try and be balanced somewhat but um, if, if you look at it it definitely does look like Arsenal improving as a side definitely does however it is very similar results to what it was last season like Arsenal beat Spurs 2-0 last season at home. Mm, that's true yeah, that's very and, true and yeah. they, they, they were beaten in like 20 games though yeah I know, I know. Well, that's great, yeah. but they but they played as Chelsea and City and last at the beginning I know that was the beginning of his tenure but yeah. their game if you if you break it into different areas you could you could look at it as if it was the same results as last season the, um, and, then, yes. and then there's been a couple of games like Watford, Leicester Palace. and Wolves and Palace yeah. which they got a bit lucky in um, but so I, w- I wouldn't scream from the rooftops just yet but I think the Spurs game was a little bit yeah. of, a, of a, like <clears> a, you <throat> know, a few, a few I think Lee Dixon said it on Radio 5 Live last night this could be like this is slightly different to what the rest of the season's been mm. they, they deserve to win that game <coughs> yeah, yeah totally and I think it's, it, I've said it a few times um, this year that I think there's such a gap between the top six sides and the rest that actually you don't really know how good these sides are until they play each other. Yeah. And now they've played look, the first two games. I think you can forget about them, really. The real tests were Liverpool and, and Spurs and tonight play Man United. It's a big test. So they're always up for it. Yeah, it, it, it's Arsenal, awesome, isn't it? No. No. It's Man United. But they, the Spurs game was... You know, that's the first team that destroyed Chelsea the week before. Yeah. Their XG, someone wrote in the, in the, on, a, on a tweet I sent today um, saying that their XG is like 20, so it should, they should be on 20 goals, they've actually scored 32. That's, that's something I've been looking into as well. They, um, it's, it's what, can they keep that up? Mm. Is, that, is that sustainable? Because sometimes X, you, you, you outshoot at XG because your, your strikers are prolific. Aubameyang has scored, <laughs> has scored 10 goals out of his last 10 shots on target. Yeah. Wow. That's Ab- really rare. Ab- Aubameyang <laughs> is, I mean, yeah, two things. Aubameyang is, is the nuts. I think I think he's excellent. I'd absolutely love him at Chelsea. Is he better than Kane? There's a bit of chat about him being better than I Kane. I don't know how Arsenal got him because Arsenal were in a bit of a trough when they bought him, and he's always had this great reputation in Europe. I know he's a little bit. Well, what is he? Twenty nine. Yeah, he's yeah, 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 yeah. the wrong side of like where you want to be. But when Arsenal bought him, they were a team that were finished outside the top four. I thought that was such a, a yeah. scoop at the time. But no one was really, no scoop. one was really looking for a forward at that time. Because it was January, so people well, didn't want. Oh, well, I would have, I would have loved him. Yeah, he's he, he's class. The, the other, yeah, well, you know, um, Lack is not a bad player. Lack is good as well. The, the other thing is, I think um, that backfired on Spurs was Eric Dyer's celebration and the way that they kind of reacted afterwards. It, it got the Arsenal uh, players and fans, fans yeah. properly up. It was for rocking, it. wasn't it? it yeah. was rocking. Um, I, I, I've got to say, I, I quite enjoyed that. I, I don't, nothing against the it. celebration. Yeah, yeah. Nothing against yeah, it. Actually, it actually kicked. It didn't actually kick off a bit. Die. He, he was back out of it. He then went back yeah, over. Yeah. No, I'm more with that. I don't um, mind it. I just think it's funny how it, he then obviously uh, it was kind of his fault for a couple of days. Over flipped and shit, didn't he? Right next to the uh, Spurs fans and went like that. Well, he did over after his first. After right, his penalty, right, he did, yeah, it, he did yeah. a flip, oh, and then I didn't see that and then all the like all the all the Arsenal lads were just screaming at the Spurs. Fans. So this is the question. We asked who will finish higher, Arsenal or Spurs, at the end of the season. Trey Brown is saying Spurs. He can't, he can't see happening because of the XG. They've scored thirty-two. Their XG is twenty point eight three. Fergus O'Connor says Spurs. I'd say, but I think Arsenal will pip Chelsea to fourth. 
Harry Gunner says obviously us so he's obviously an Arsenal fan um, especially if Spurs make it through the Champions League um, and Lee saying Spurs easy so uh, where, what do you guys think I've got no basis to make judgment I really don't know um, I think Spurs just because the recent form is going to get them over the line this year I think they're definitely going to write I think give Arsenal a year or two and I think that'll be the, the dominant team in North London again they've just got it all there again I oh. Spurs this year Wonder, I wonder what impact the new stadium will have for Spurs. I don't know when they're going to move move in there. You know, Arsenal struggled initially. Can that help or not? I think it could hinder. Mm. You, you never know. I've yeah, I think it's, it's, yeah, yeah, it's, a, it's a new ground for them as much as it's a new ground for their opposition. So it's literally new ground. Or, new ground. Yeah, yeah, it's a good point. Uh, I think Spurs will just finish above Arsenal, and I think we'll finish above both of them. Okay, done. I agree. I agree with Erwin. I think Spurs will finish above Arsenal. I think that the chief reason for it is that I think <coughs> Spurs, I think Spurs will now progress in the Champions League and get knocked out in the next round. You think they'll beat Barcelona? Then? Yeah, because it's a Barcelona yeah, side yeah. you don't need to win. It, they're, they're Barcelona they're team and Barcelona, and they're top of the group. They're, yeah, they're, they're going to rest the first. Like they're not going to play a full strength team. But where, where are into home or away? PSV. PSV. Uh, they'll they'll away. be away. Yeah. But no, beat, they, they, so no at home. They beat Bayern. So Inter got PSG, uh, PSV at home. Oh, right. Correct. Yeah. yeah. So they do have to win. I think. I think. They they have have I, think I think Spurs are winning than Barcelona. I do. Then they have to believe that. Um, um, but yeah, I think. I think Arsenal finished. They're on the, the same home. number of points yeah. as. Uh, they're above them on something yeah, as uh, Inter. They're above them on goal scored or something like that. Right, eight minutes left. <laughs> eight minutes fifty. Well, we to wrap some stuff. Um, just by uh, my prediction, I said at the start of the season, I think Spurs would be too solid. Uh, over the entirety of the season but that game as I say really really shocked me and I think this mm. I'm very very impressed with Emery. it's the first it's time I've asked for you Arsenal not back back but they're on the way back yeah no it's, it's good for us fans to kind of be excited and like their expectations are correct now it, it, they were at, well right's the wrong word but the, the whole Wenger out campaign for the past several years there's some we always it, knew it, it, should, have, it should have happened yeah, it didn't yeah, freshen yeah, yeah. up but that 8th to 1st in terms of running is but that's a big point isn't it it's yeah. a massive point right uh, Pet Hates uh, mm. I'm going to go uh, first just quickly because we, we did our lead Belinda Poor but uh, Ballon d'Or uh, my bit of a Pet Hate is um, is the twerking I missed this I didn't know you were on about in our little group so the, the dude DJ something French DJ called. wasn't he yeah he basically it got clipped up and, and thrown out there and that made it the story of this basically the first ever world player of the year um, and he he'd done a joke with uh, what's his name Mbappe. Mbappe, saying do a celebration, and Mbappe had done it, and then he was sort of in that mood and kind of went, oh, can you know, I I've got him to do a celebration. Can you do a celebration? Can you twerk? And it that bit got clipped up and put out everywhere, and the pet hate of it is is that I I get why it became a thing. But the pet hate is is one that he should know. He should be smart than that. Who yeah. did he ask to twerk again? This uh, the the woman who won it. I don't know her name. Oh, I should I do, know. She's Norwegian. Uh, she plays she's for, plays for Leon. Leon. Yeah, Leon. 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 She's got. By the way, she's got like an unbelievable goal record. She's she? three hundred career games and got two hundred eighty-four goals. Really? That's bad. Well, that's how much she's the rest in the world, aren't we? Well, yeah. But yeah, I I just thought. It just showed the kind of climate of everything that, like, one, it was a thing. Two, he should, he shouldn't just tread carefully. Yeah, well, it's not, not that it's he, the climate so he bad. Was asking now. her because she's a woman. He just threw it out because it's a th- well-known dance movement. It's just I a, think so. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so he probably picked. He probably picked work because it's a woman's dance. Do you think subconsciously? But he picked. A is that? Woman. I, I mean, know. listen. I mean, but I you think, could twerk if you want. Yeah, but he would. Can twerk. Yeah. 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 No, I know, I know, I get that, but he, he shouldn't saying, have done it though. No, he shouldn't no. have done it. He should have gone because it's the first time we're, you know, we're we're in a, a 2018's been a year where a lot of stuff's happened and women have been able to move forward a hell of a lot. But this, as a bloke, just get through it. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I I look forward to a time where there can be more jokes between men and women because and it not moment. be taken so. Um, 
it's not such a tentative thing. Yeah. You don't want to live in a world where you have where you literally have to watch everything you say the whole time. Yeah. You just want to you know you just want to be open and have a normal conversation. Yeah, Whereas is he spoke about it? But it, but things he said. Yeah, he I, I didn't mean, he apologized it's straight away. Yeah, yeah, he, he, he actually apologized for was it the English translation or, uh, and I think he, I think he, he put it on that. Which yeah. is like I get I think, that. I think he probably didn't really understand what he was apologizing. I also think it's a massive shame for her that like every question and yeah. she's known for that now. We're yeah. talking about that because of that. We're not talking yeah. about it because of. Of, of her achievement I think that's a shame but that's oh, the media now know the goal record yeah which is phenomenal so well done yeah yeah exactly. hopefully everyone will focus on that now I, I said it it's great yeah. um, any other pet hates oh you got one Craig yeah. I've got one bloody Stowe played poor Bellas the checker trade oh don't start it kicked off is it the checker trade mm. alright checker, checker trade, trade. <laughs> 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 trade. <laughs> com. talk sport I think they have to talk sport it kicked off basically and there, was, there was a little <laughs> band of um, Stowe fans that there's no way of dressing it up they smashed up the, uh, the away end and it's Your the, mum was there, wasn't she? She was at the game. My mum wasn't there. Oh, she wasn't there? No. Oh, sorry. Who's been there? No, I thought you said earlier that your mum was there. No, no, my dad was. Your was my dad was, dad was there. with the Stoke fans. With, with he would say that. Well, he would do, because yeah. 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 so, 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 so furious he might. So furious he might. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was that mad. He was that mad that they smashed it up, that he smashed it up as well. It was ridiculous. It wasn't even that bad. He's like, come on, have you done this? Yeah, yeah, you fucking yeah, that well, is it's, it's the old cliche being tied to the same bush now because I, I just don't find that's that's me now. Do you reckon that'll happen at Brentford? I'm worried. Really this is what I'm saying. Time. I'm worried about going Brentford in case some of these knobheads turn up and do it at Brentford. Because I'm mates with you, and I'm like, I'm so sorry, mate. So, so, do you know what I mean? I fucking, it's is so it, frustrating. And they're doing it because it's a derby game we've not played Vale in 16 it. years there's a lot of bad blood between Stoke and um, Vale fans and it's been built over 16 years but there's no excuse for what happened last night there's going to be banter and a bit of aggressive banter of that but that was yeah that's not cool off. wasn't there we just look like dicks well. all of us look like dicks now that, I always there. think that with like uh, Millwall fans I always think imagine, there's must be tons of if someone says lovely you're a Millwall fans, fan yeah. oh, really go, go, fan. difficult I, yeah I like you, must, you get that right you must yeah. get that all the time but well I don't I'm not ripped but yeah yes I have in the past mm. yeah I have in the past and this is gonna since we've been in the Prem that sort of culture's died down with Stoke but it was, yeah. since we've been back to the Championship I've been a few away games I've seen that sort of yeah you've had a few the away yeah. games again now Leeds isn't it Leeds mm. Bristol there's been a few I'm like where's this come from and it obviously really it's had big time at Vale and it might happen again that if I say I'm Stoke fans we're like oh you're a hooligan mm. and I'm not a hooligan so and it keeps on happening hopefully yeah, it's a, a one off but yeah. the, these, I don't know who the fuck they are. A lot of people say, I've not seen them for years and years and years. I think it's so, the, yeah. the Port Vale element to be. Oh, right. I mean, it helps stir it, the fact it's a local derby, but it's tied with the same brush. Do you, do you, uh, do you like the, the fact that your fans get rowdy? Do I like it? Mm. I like passion, but I don't want physical violence. Well, which way would you rather it go? Like, what would you rather go? Like, like red and sanitized. Or, or, or like fallen. Or, yeah. <laughs> um, or occasionally kick off like this. Yeah, you should get a family. Good question. You should, get, good you, question. Should, you should get a family end just to uh, neutral ends. Yeah, oh, God, I don't even want one either. But if that's pick one, you go with a complete neutral sort of thing. Would you? Just yeah. both yeah. arrangements. I don't know what kudos, isn't there? I don't know. I would. Uh, I'd rather be the hard ones. I don't know. I'd rather yeah. be the. Like, you, you, you always think grass is greener when you're at a neutral club. Yeah, you're true. a fan of neutral club. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, but I mean, if I if I was um, if I was a fan of Stoke, mm. I have God willing. One day I will be. God, really? <laughs> <laughs> Do it. Yeah, it's easy. Yeah, it's easy. Yeah, but it's chased once already. Yeah, I've already chased once. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I've, I, well, what I'd say is that if I was um, a fan of Stoke, I'd be ashamed. But but only for a, only for a small put. Of course, yeah. I mean, no, I'm not laughing at you. I, I've, I've been on be so, social media all day. I would be fucking different. You've been on social media. You've been looking Yeah, well, it wasn't me. But I didn't say it was you. Sorry, who's this? <laughs> but I, yeah, but also it's me all day. It's just fucking everywhere. It's like, oh, for fuck, here we go. Because like, growing up when I was in League, League One and Championship with Stoke, growing up, it was really frequent. It reminded me of back in the day. Good times. Mm. The glory years. So but at the same time, I'd be ashamed. I'd be like, oh, I can let it go. Um, not long left in the podcast, I'm afraid, guys. So uh, let's keep it moving. Pe- hey, any more pet hates? No. no. I've any turn on? Yeah, football turn on. Yeah, it's not football turn on. Not football turn on. Come on. Okay. Salted pistachios. Oh. <laughs> How good are they? Are they the most addictive food going? Mm. Uh, yeah, they're fine. Sorted. They're good. They're a lot of work. Yeah, that's the. When you try, because I haven't worked today. And, you can't work and just nibble at them because you have to constantly just keep going. Yeah. You just like get for the work. What about, what about dry roasted nuts? They're very good. Uh, no, they're, very, they're great. You, I, I don't really like uh, those kind of nuts. I, I like a, a load of them in one hour. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I bet you do. Oh, yeah. More than a couple. <laughs> do, you, do you? Do you like as well? I got into mango. 
Oh, mate. I'm so good, mate. I'm not that's good. good. That's good. I've had that for a while. Okay, sick. Been on that that's for a while. Yeah. Let us know in the comments uh, what foods do you like? Yeah, that's it. It's all good. Hot dogs. We've got 50 seconds left. What food do you like? Oh, quick, very quickly. Clop. Out of order or not? No, no, I think so. Yeah, out of order. Out of order. order. Wait, wait, wait. He can control. He can control himself there. Absolutely, you can, you can control yourself. You ain't the You need that. It's good. I like it. Not on the pitch. If it was Holloway, I'd have loved it. If it, if it exactly. was if it was a Brentford manager, I would have loved it. Yeah, but I would still think it was out of order. Yeah. Okay. Good. I agree with I agree with what Merson said that if it's jo- if it's Jose Mourinho, he's getting banned for yeah, like twenty yeah. games. Yeah, I, I I'd never want to agree the with Klopp, Merson. Though. The Klopp love affair. Um, bollocks. Right, trivia. That's how we finish. Trivia. Right. So, just, this is totally random, really. Premier League related, though. In the 17 18 season, nine players achieved 10 or more assists. Can you name them? Say that again. Last season. Last season, there were nine players that got 10 or more assists. De Bruyne. Can you name them? Jose Correct. Rodriguez. De Silva. Silva. Yes. De Bruyne and Silva, yes. Sane. Yes. Uh, Ozil. How many Man City players? Not. Uh, not Ozil. Uh, not um, Ozil. Not Ozil. No. Ali? Uh, yes. Uh, Erickson. Erickson. Erickson, yes. Sam. Milner, no. Myers. Son, no. Myers, oh, Kane. Yes. Kane. No. No. Be nice. Oh, Shafan. How many have you got left now? You've got one, two, I think three left. Um, what clubs have we haven't done? Man oh, United, uh, um, Salah. Correct. Man United. Um, <laughs> yeah, they've got some. Oh, yeah, Pogba. Correct. Mane. How many left? Two. You've got one more. Mane, Firmino? No. <laughs> Hazard? No. Coutinho? No. Oh, Astor Yes. No. Uh-huh. You got like seven. Salah? No. Did you say, how many have you said, who have you said for Man City? Sane, Silver. Sterling. Oh, Sterling, yeah. I oh, know, you said that now. Is that it? Done it. That's it. What a lad. That's an easy one. Easy one. Yeah, uh, we hope you've enjoyed the podcast. Uh, if you are new to the channel or to Great Touch for a Big Lad, whatever way you're enjoying Great Touch for a Big Lad, you're not welcome. Subscribe <laughs> to <Yeah>. the <laughs> no, <it's not. laughs> no, I'm subscribe, um, like it, rate the podcast on iTunes right. and all that. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, advice for the week, Tom. Advice for the week. Um, if um, if someone asks you to dance, just just dance. Let's yeah. just dance for the man. Oh, right. Is that like it tough? Yeah. yeah. What, the, what are you doing? No, I'm assuming yeah. anything outside. Yeah, right, right. right. That's twerk. No, it's twerk. Yeah. Well, there you go. There's, there's the advice. Uh, we'll see you soon. Bye.